All right, how's it going? I'm that ginger photographer. This video is gonna be all about my seven go-to tips for when photographing food on location for clients. It's a working title. When I first started out in food photography, I'd go to a location, I'd photograph all the dishes they wanted photographing, nice, static, clean images of each dish. I'd deliver about 20, 25 pictures of each dish to the client. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing that, but there was so much more that I could have been doing at the time, especially for when the client's using these pictures for things like social media, for websites. They need more variation they can't really use 20 of the same images of the same dish. They need to mix it up a bit. And that's why I'm gonna be talking about these seven different things that I do on every food photo shoot that I go to. So I'll get right into it. So first of all, it's a bit boring and I'm only gonna to just touch on it a little bit. The first thing I do when I get to a food photo shoot is I get my lighting set up right. I put one light a little bit higher to one side of the table, pointing down at where the dish is gonna be. And I put another light on the other side of the table, about table height also pointing at where the dish is gonna be, but just slightly behind where the dish is gonna be, so that you're getting a bit of a hair light on your food. Now, I know you don't want hair in your food, but that's what it's creating. It's creating, that's not even funny, that. But that's what it's gonna create. It's gonna put a bit of a hair light on your food photos by just placing it slightly behind the dish. Once I've got my settings right for that, and once my settings are right in camera, I just leave it alone. I do not touch any more settings. I don't wanna be changing settings all throughout the photo shoot. I'll only touch them once throughout the photo or shoot and that's what I'm gonna to get to at the end of this video. So the first food photos that I take on any photo shoot are the really still boring ones that I've just been telling you not to get too many of but you still need to get those images. And I just deliver about three or four of these. Again, the client doesn't need 20, 30 pictures of the same dish from the same angle. Just pick one or two good ones from each of the different angles. The next thing I'll do is photograph the food with other dishes, with other meals. This is a great one to do if the chef's gonna be producing loads of food out the kitchen. They're gonna be plating up loads of different meals from the menu. You can pick a load of those dishes and just place them around the table and have your main dish in focus. So whether it's one other dish in the background slightly out of focus from your main dish, or whether it's a table full of plates and you're just focusing on one of them, get that variation, set a scene and almost tell a story, fill that table with food. After I've done that, I'll start adding drinks into the mix. I'll get things like red wine to go with steak. If we're doing a breakfast menu, I'll get a cup of coffee or a teapot because I'm British. If we're doing burgers, I'll get a pint or some bottles of beer. And again, I'll scatter them about using them as props. After I've done that, after I've mixed it all in, I'll take all the dishes away and I'll just do one main meal with one drink. So it might be a steak with a glass of wine or a burger on its own with a pint. And again, it's just about adding variation into your images for the client. So they've got a lot more to choose from when it comes to posting on social media. So once I've got all of those static images out the way, I'll start to add some movement into my pictures. And what I'll do for that is I'll grab a member of staff or I'll grab people if I've got them with me and I'll get them to start cutting up the food and eating in it but getting them to do it really slowly so I'll just be get them in a seat like this sat at the table and I'll be shooting over the shoulder here I won't really be getting any faces in the pictures I'll be getting shots from over the shoulder or I'll be going straight on along the table just really focusing on the dish on the hands on the cutlery that's what this is about it's about adding a bit of movement to these images and also adding that human element to the photos as well after they've cut up the food, if we've got any dishes where they can hold it, that's the next thing I'll do. I'll get them to hold things like burgers, any sandwiches, just holding it up. Sometimes I'll get them to hold it and shoot over the shoulder. Sometimes I'll get them to hold it up to camera and just show the inside of the burger or get things dripping out of a burger or wraps even, wraps work well as well. Oi oi. But any dishes like that where you can again get that movement, get them holding something, get them dipping something even if it's just a chip or a shrimp, get that little bit more movement and that human element in the pictures, the client will be happy again with all these different types of pictures that they've got to choose from. After I've done all these food images, I'll move over to the bar and I'll ask them if they've got anything like cocktails that they want photographing, any bottles of champagne, any bottles of red wine, and I'll just get some members of staff to share them. Again, I won't be focusing on any faces, so nobody's gonna know that it's members of staff, but I'll get them to pour the drinks, I'll get them to cheers, some cocktails, and just really focusing on those drinks, adding that human element again, making this venue look really fun and friendly, and as though loads of people go there for these beautiful looking drinks, 
drinks. I found the clients really love these because things like cocktails and bottles of Prosecco and wine, those usually have a really high profit margin for the client. So if they can sell more of these items from your photos, it makes you look even better. And one last extra tip that I want to talk about, don't be afraid to move locations throughout the shoot. On a photo shoot for food photography, I'll usually choose about two or three different locations all throughout the shoot. I might shoot four different dishes in one location, lift everything up and move to another corner of the restaurant. And this is when I was talking, it's okay to move your lights, just set them up exactly the same as they were. You don't have to mess about with settings anymore, just set them up exactly as they were and you're good to go within a couple of minutes. And that is all seven things that I will do on a food photo shoot. I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you took something away from it. Every day is a school day. Let me know in the comments if you found something useful. If you did enjoy that, please consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. I love you, bye.